What up, dogs? Welcome back to our uh, to Darkest Dungeon, uh, God Attacks Darkest Dungeon. Rar. Um, this is our 25th episode. Our uh, our uh, what was it? The quad quad centennial or quarter quarter centennial? That uh, that sounds about right. I think I've heard that in places before. Enough of me uh, moving around in my chair to start off this video. Uh, last video, we uh, we got a ton of money from a ton of good shit that we did. And we also set up our gang right here to go take down a boss in uh, this this episode. Everyone's uh, tricked out already. Everyone's got their skills set. Actually, hold on. <laughs> yeah, this guy's skills, I want to stay right there. Uh, blinding gas. Taking off Noxious Blast here for uh, Disorienting Blast or Plague Grenade. Does it really matter? Let's do, let's do Noxious Blast because it'll... Yeah, that's right. I want these three for the boss. And then this one, just for like the regular mission, because it's my most favorite one. Uh, then we got Blangy over here, everything's good. And Boomwa over here, everything's good. Okay, let's uh, let's embark. Oh, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready, because uh, I'm not. I'm not ready at all. I wish I was more ready. I wish I could be more ready for you guys, but this is the best we got going for us. Let's... Uh, Let's throw down everyone where they needs to be. Of course, you're all the way in the back. We don't like right fucking here. There we go. Let's provide for them. Let's, uh... And I'm spending a lot of money to uh, make this shit happen. There you go. Two full stacks of food, even though we probably won't need it. Two full stacks of torches, even though we probably won't need it. Uh, three shovels, because we will need that. Two anti-venoms. Two bandages. Two of those, two of those. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Let's sell some stuff back, shall we? There we go. And um, two of those. And is that it? Oh, you know what? These uh, medicinal herbs, we need a ton of for this uh, level. So what, what am I going to give up now? A torch. Yeah, a single torch for another of these medicinal herbs right here. Um, this is great. I am totally fine with spending like five grand to beat a fucking boss that will never again. I had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was oh, set to enjoy to several before. weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who mm -hmm. insisted on repeated calls to the house. Insisted, my friend. She Doesn't she look striking? It looks like she'll strike a match on her tits and light the world on fire. Holy shit. I actually have no idea where the boss is. Fuck me. Um, let's, let's count real quick where the furthest room is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it could either be in one of these terminals over here, logically, or it could just be right here. Um, I'm a little bit more skeptical about that. But either way, I think we should head to uh, the left area first. Uh, just because there's two spots really close by that could be the boss. And we're trying to reach the boss as soon as possible. And if it's in neither of those spots, you can always double back and go back into this uh, terminal right here. Which will suck, but at the same time, like, you know, that's the only choice we got left. Let's, um, let's go this way. Okay. Oh uh, yes, resisted. You just got a little bit stressed. It's fine. Um, this is interesting. Let's use a shovel, shall we? Okay. Finding this stuff is only the first Good. test. Good. Now it must be carried home. Usage of the shovel. That that was a lot of good shit right there. We didn't get any scouting. That's fine. We're gonna go ahead and step forward once. Boom. There's our torch usage. Okay, doing all right so far. Hey, we got a fucking beast carcass. Let's throw this shit down right here. Booshy boo. We get ten food. Take all of it, cause we're good. All right, I'm glad I came this direction. Hey, we got a room battle. Oh shit, everyone's okay. This is actually really, really fine. <laughs> uh, we're we're doing okay in this uh instance. Let's go ahead and fuck. 
damage. Right. His melee damage is actually down because one of the uh, because both of the fucking uh, things he's got, the helmets he's got, but at the same time, fuck that. Oh no! I want a grape shot to work. All right, he's done. That's fine. He's already gone this uh, turn. Spit! Don't you dare get blighted. God damn it! I gotta fucking heal you now, you son of a bitch. Cured. Bite. Oh, all right. So it didn't do too much damage, but at the same time, I just wanna, just wanna kill this person right here. Don't blight him again. Okay, good, good. Fuck, he lost a lot of health. I have to do the healings here. I have a ton of a uh, ton of food though. So this should... Again with the Dodgers, Blangy! I will have your fucking neck on a platter. Alright, so the last person that goes is actually Sikorsi, and I kind of want... Oh no, you know what? Such a terrible assault oh, cannot God. be left unanswered. But uh, the blade's actually not so bad on this lady over here. So. Ooh. Okay. So I think... Yes. We shall do... Either... Either kill this guy, which is you know arguably a good idea, or I could try to blind these dudes back here. Let's go for that, okay? There you go. Oh, the one that we wanted to be stunned got stunned. That's fun. Yeah, we're we're doing Divine Grace 2 on this person again. Because for some reason, they just love taking bites out of uh, late to the game. I I could see why you would. He's um a big old asshole that was uh, super late to the game, but, um, but at the same time, I kind of need him. And we're gonna go for the insta kill Confidence right here. surges as the Who enemy crumbles. Sorry. Right, otherwise, oh, man, that damage. Where's where is that damage coming from? I just do I just take crazy damage against every single thing ever? Hold on. The spitter must be there. This we go. Beautiful. Give them no quarter. Otherwise, he would have gone. Oh shit. Okay, he's done with his shit, so finish him on the spitter back here. I <sighs> wish that would have done, done the kill. And I totally could actually get the kill right here. Uh, the hits, there it As is. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. Stunned. I'm going to, in this instance, since this guy is so weak, I'm going to go ahead and stall for a little bit. So I can uh, get some healing down. Yeah, those, the sixes are real nice, actually. Boom, and that four is real nice, too. Maybe I could get some more healing uh, on this uh, Mr. Person right here by uh, doing a mark of death. There you go. How do you like that? And do another grape shot. All right, grape shot kills. I did, I did not victory. know grape shot actually but does a that victory, much damage. nonetheless. Uh, hold on. Before we do anything, we're, uh, one, two, three, four, five, four. There we go. Alright, so we did heal up pretty nicely there, and we still have a ton of food left over. Yes, scout. Scout that shit out. Alright. There's actually way more battles that other way if we had gone that other way. Um, but we are going to go over here. This is a battle right here. Yeah, we're gonna switch these two up, and we're gonna switch these two up, actually. Uh, we got a pretty... Yeah, we're gonna use a torch right here. We got a pretty good team. They, uh, they... They can use most of their stuff, regardless of what position they're in. Okay. Blangy. Late to the game. Tra... That's right. Okay. So which one has the highest, uh, blight resistance? 40% right there. 50% right there. Okay, so, Blangy, you got this. If you if you lose, then you know your your blight resistance high is high anyways, and your and your um, stress is way lower. So that's good. Left luggage, I believe the key works on this. Yes, has a lock on it. We should do. We take all of that good shit, and then we head on, continue on here. And there is a battle in this room right here. So uh, let's let's collect ourselves real quick. Yeah, we good. Let's go. What do we got? Okay, right here. okay, so we got um, some big old dudes. Illumination will increase torch, but also reduce dodge. That will only work like effectively on the brigand fusilier. Uh, so instead, for the self heal, we'll go for a judgment here. And uh, oh, the fusilier, I would love, love, love to 
to get that guy killed as soon as possible. But at the same time, maybe we can just uh, make him ineffective by pushing him all the way up to the front. And we dodge. Good, 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 good. I was hoping for uh, some good stuff to happen like that. Um, these guys' stun resist is pretty bad. So I'm going to go ahead and use blinding gas on them. This will give real good headway for me to use a uh, finish him on these dudes. Uh, 7 to 13 here. That's real nice. Boom! 7. Alright, another, another little thing on them will uh, get the job done. Uh, should we do open vein instead of a you know, point blank shot? 9 and 19. It's a. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Oh. I was hoping for a crit for that, uh, for that death strike right there, but. You know. Ooh! Mortality man. clarified in a single strike. Oh, straight up knocked the fuck out. Oh, yeah, you. You, you, gotta, you gotta heal my man over here. Jesus. Yeah, it was a good it was a good idea to go for this guy first and foremost. Holy really shit. About to break. Don't you okay. So just you bleeded two people. God damn it, that's really bad. Um blinding gas again. Or cure the bleed. Yeah, let's cure the bleed here. Oh, and he finally does at least a little bit of healing with that attack. Holy shit. Blind. What what is wrong? What is wrong with you right now? Oh, come on, man. All right, let's let's see where we're at. She's fine. The bleeding is not going to affect her too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and try for the stuns on these fools again. Perfect. Both of them taken out. Uh, let's go ahead. Another heal on my man right here, and then we have a couple of chances to get this guy out of the way. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go for uh, open. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Open vein. There it is. Perfect. We got him bleeding. She is bleeding as well, but she is okay to keep bleeding. That is going to be a heal on that person. Noxious Blast could get the kill right here. Most likely. Most definitely. So there is that, plus the blight, there's the kill. There's the death right there. Shame. Could have gotten some more bleed on her, but we, we ended up not making that happen. Okay. Pretty intense encounter, but at the same time, we, I think we're going to get out of it, okay? Uh, this one has more accuracy. I don't know why I just don't keep using the finishing. The collect bounty is only if... Uh, Remind yourself targets. that overconfidence so. is a slow and insidious killer. Uh, okay, we need to get one position taken care of. Uh, the emerald is fine, but at the same time, like, you know what? It, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's use a use a bandage here and shift click to toss that bandage now. And um, anti venom could be good. Holy water could be good as well. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Yeah, we'll toss out these uh, extra torches right there. I kind of want to keep most of my good shit. Uh, the spider webs, uh, they don't come around too often, so uh, there's nothing of value inside. Okay, I was kind of hoping that, because um, cause I'd much rather uh, save it for the future. Okay, we get some really good, really, really good scouting here. We now know where the boss is. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, we just gotta figure out the path to take to her. Um, we can go up and then to the left. Uh, okay, either we do one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three. So, which is the path of least resistance? We, um... There's, there's, a, there's one fighting if we go through the middle or upwards. Uh, if we go through the middle, we use a shovel, which, uh, you know, not a big fan of. So instead, we're just going to go upwards. Yes. And then we come across just a straight-up sack right here. That's just straight-up stuff we have now. Awesome. 
50 gold, perfect. Let's uh, switch these dudes around right quick. Okay. And then the rest of this, oh, yeah, eat food. Yeah, you have the food, so eat it. Uh, okay. So now uh, we come across this, another curio and then uh, an encounter right here, uh, right next to an empty room. Um, it's in an empty crate, okay. And uh, we have 76 light, so... Oh, now it's 70, now, now that we've stepped a little bit farther out. So uh, we did take quite a few things that we didn't need to. These dudes are surprised. I'm surprised that that happened. So I'm going to take advantage of this as much as I can. Let's see. 5 to 9. I could get the kill in the ectoplasm. There it is. Awesome. If I get another, if I get a point blank shot with this man right here, I could probably get the kill as well. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take my chances with that, Executed and it happened. Now all we have is a cultist acolyte left over. Let's, uh, let's throw down a noxious blast for her fucking me running. I want to do an illumination here to lower her dodge. And I think that's worth it. Yes. She resisted this, the debuff. But at the same time, all she did was this stressful incantation, which, bring, which brings down the light, and that's about it. So uh, we just need to do another... Boom. That much damage. Awesome. So, our front unit is actually, at least well, late to the game, success. is actually very stressed out right now. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we're, you know, it's going to get pretty low light here. But uh, I plan on camping just in this, just in this room right here. Uh, should I, though? Because there could be an encounter on the way to the boss room. So, the smarter thing to do would be go... Yeah, we have torches to waste right here fine. Uh, the smartest thing to do would be to go all the way to the room and then just backtrack once we're done finding out all the curios. Uh, beast carcass again. Yeah, we're throwing down another one of these. Take the six foods and uh, then we come over here and we figure out that there's nothing. Let's throw down a torch. Now we're going to back up. This is going to stress our dudes out quite a bit. Yeah. A lot of stress going to come of this, but we're going to go do some camping right now, so hopefully no one gets stressed out anymore because of it. Let's just uh, tap this button, so yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so really just Blangy got super stressed out by uh, six. So now we camp. And now we also a moment of respite. feast. A chance I believe to she doesn't have, yeah, she doesn't the have the where, um, where it protects us from uh, things happening to us overnight. So I'm actually going to just... Uh, Eat some food to get this out of our inventory. That way we also don't need to heal anyone with uh, respite. Uh, monster size 2 plus 25% damage. That's really good. I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's a self buff, right? Yeah, self only. Uh, improved scouting chance. We don't need that. Uh, less likely to be surprised. We don't need that. Improved scouting chance. We don't need that. One companion gets plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 dodge. Who's got low dodge and low accuracy? Dodge. Dodge. I feel like this guy fucking needs it right here. So we're gonna give it to him then. Yeah, we're gonna give it to him. Or actually, the accuracy could be really good on Blanchard because his accuracy is just fucking sucky shit right now. So yeah, let's uh let's do it on Blanchard then. There we go. Bless him. Bless him. Now we try for this. Heals, don't need it. Uh, remove target disease. This could uh, this could be nice, actually. Does anyone have a disease? Uh, sickly is not a disease. Sickly, and then none of those are diseases, actually. Just uh, mental diseases, really. Uh, reduce stress by... Oh, and this... Wait, this is one companion. I could have sworn leeches was just on yourself, but whatever. Um, then we then we have uh, some reduced stress options right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a chant because uh, it has a chance of doing way more stress reduction. So I just wanna and this will also show us if this character is um, religious or not. Nope, he is not. Um, stress resist, stress resist, stress heal, stress heal. So the, for the last four, we're just gonna stress heal this guy over here. There we go. Perfect. We're we're pretty we're pretty good on stats right now. High health, uh, low stress, 
and um, you know, good good buffs too. So we're just gonna hopefully not fight anything during the night time. As yes. the light gains good. purchase, spirits are lifted, and, and here purpose we are. is made clear. Here we are. This is our chance to shine. We are uh, we're fighting the wise and hag. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, march up forward. There we go. Stay calm. This is not a route forward. Let's go ahead and use it to The light. The promise of safety. There we go. We're just gonna fully heal everyone. It looks like everyone is fully healed. So let's fucking go in, dog. Alright, we're fighting the boss. Twisted and maniacal. Oh shit, I should have switched there. Testament to the powers of corruption. Okay, so this is actually really good. Because now, um, since he's up front, he can do his uh, pistol like point blank shot against this character and it'll fucking do good shit. Um, it really sucks that we took uh, Boonwa with us because now that she's in the perpetually going to be in the second spot, she can't do heals. So I might want to just take this chance to um, to switch her to the back. Weisenhag has very low dodge, so, um, so we don't need to lower that. We could lower her damage, though. That could be really good. And lower her accuracy. Uh, what's her debuff resist? It's 50. It's one of the lowest she's got. Uh, and it does do... Oh, but Hand of Light only hits the front target. Okay, so yeah. So she's got really nothing good to do. So I am going to move her to the back. There we go. This is good. Season to perfection, huh? Is that... Uh, oh, it's a debuff. I was thinking, oh, that's fine. It's fine for her, because she's just healing people. Uh, why isn't Hag now? Let's do Emboldening Vapors on, uh, yeah. Because otherwise, Noxious Blast would just be on the cauldron. Let's do Emboldening Vapors on, uh, my friend right here. Buff him up. And you are gonna do your shit on the cauldron. Fuck. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man. This actually does a ton of stress to us right now. Our main damage dealer to the back row is, is fucking up right now. But, um... And how does this fucking Wizen Hag go twice per turn? That's fucking crazy. Uh, could Grape Shot Blast, but I just want to get the pistol out of the Wizen Hag. Start getting some damage out there. And maybe start doing damage with these fellas on uh, the Cauldron. Let's see. Illumination or Judgment. Judgment does the more amount of damage. And it heals us, actually. But we can also target the wise and head with it, so I think that's definitely worth it. She's down 16 HP. We're, I think this is conceivable that we could do it. Um, well, oh, her, she's already debuffed, so I'm gonna just continue buffing Blangy with our uh, with our man up here. We need tenderizer. Okay, that does damage, but not too much damage. We're fine. We're fine. And she goes again. God damn it. What is with her? Like, just going twice a turn. I don't like that. That's very annoying. That's not how you're supposed to do things around here. Oh, also, we should probably from heal becoming late unwound. to the game. Let's, uh, let's do a pistol shot on uh, Wise Hag right now. Boom. Good. Good. We need to do some healing. And golden and vapors on, uh, I want to waste it because if this guy dies, then that's it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it on him again to do like crazy damage. And now divine grace him so he doesn't fucking die for it. Perfect. Good. Now we have. Uh, I'm not gonna mark her because we can't hit her with collect bounty. So I'm just gonna go for and finish him right there. And now he's gonna go into the pot. I'm actually cool with that. Because he hasn't been doing too much, just, you know, boosting our damage up a little bit. So, uh, Blangy could do a ton of damage on this, uh, Wise and Hag right here with his, uh, ranged attacks. Uh, Season to Perfection, that's fine. The debuff on my, uh, healer is perfectly, I'll, I'll, I'm okay with that. So, uh, let's just take you out and, uh, continue on our merry way. Okay! Alright, so it does show right here that, like, on her next to her health bar that she has two turns per, um, per fucking, uh, turn, basically. Which is terrible, but at the same time, like, what, what, what else are we gonna do? Um, 
I think I might have, uh, oh yeah, dodged it. Good, good, good. He's got another attack coming, but I'm gonna go ahead and heal this dude before anything really bad happens. Uh, her attacks seem to be not too, like, bad. Uh, it's just, like, a lot of, uh, stressful stuff and, um, not very damaging stuff. The most damaging thing is this fucking cauldron, so as long as we kill the wise and hag really quickly, uh, we should be, we should be okay to, to exit this floor without getting anyone killed. Teetering on the brink, okay. facing the abyss. I think we're going to the next, uh, next turn now. Okay. Alright, so he's going into the pot now, which sucks, because he's been doing the most damage for us. Set the stage uh, but, for heroism. I think this might be it. Oh, so close! I just need one hit of damage. Oh, no, 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 don't kill Sikorsi! Another life wasted. What, what did I just say? Of glory. What did I just tell you? What did I just fucking tell you? Don't kill him! Uh... You... You... You shall die a peasant's death. Okay, there's a debuff. I don't really care. I just need him to do his mark of fucking shit to, to kill this shit lord back here. God damn it. And then we'll, you know, and then we'll be safe. Lunoa is resolving. Oh, okay. She gets courageous now. A moment there we of go. Valor. Sorry, I was ex like, even if despair. the bad thing happened, like, all that would have really done was cost us money after we kill this fucking the bitch. The wood is still poisoned. Oh, the thank way is still blocked. The Lord. But less people will be eaten. All right, quick draw charm. That's really good. Let's take all of this so far. Um, let's heal you all the way. That's uh. And let's get rid of the torches. Get rid of the torches. We don't need those anymore. There we go. There we go. Quick draw charm. Perfect. Okay, good. Yeah, we can leave now. But fuck you. Oh, let's let's open this chest then with this key. Item has no effect. Wait, what? Is this chest with your family signal? Let's throw this down. Possibly a shovel. Nope. I guess we could just open it then, right? Let's, let's keep doing it, because really, we're not using any of this stuff for anything else. We're getting the fuck out of here right now, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, we just open it. <coughs> Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. That was really nice. 1,500 gold plus a leper-only um, thing. That was awesome. That's awesome. Now let's leave, shall we? Who doggy? Oh, man. What is that, like 1,300? Not not too many heirlooms, but 1,300 gold. That's good stuff. Sporzy, you're a good man. Sorry you saw death this life. Night blindness, that's you're totally fine. And hatred of beast, that's awesome. Fast healer, that's fucking great. Awesome, okay. Return to town. Dudes, dudes, we Once defeated the, our estate we defeated the wise and hag. This land. Yes, it's been so. It's, it's been a long time coming, but I, I stuck to my guns, and she is now, she's now, fucking eating dicks at the bottom of hell's uh, shithole. Uh, let's let's de-stress late to the game. You can use. You could use a like a second level de stress. You're not religious though, as we've come to figure out. So let's take you to the gambling hall. Hold on. We'll only meditate. That's that's closed minded, my friend. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, we we use less money on you, but also, like, you're not gonna get as much stress healing. I'm just looking out for you, my dude. Give you a taste. Not a lot of visible brothel. Uh, will not prayer flagellate. Won't pray or flagellate. Not allowed to visit brothel, but he's very low, so uh, I think we could just go drinking at the bar with him, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's take all his trinkets first, though. That way, he has no chance of losing anything. Um, Vernon, we have a we have a thing for you, my my good friend. There you are. Uh, can we get can we get a fucking plague doctor up in this bitch? Hey, look at what we got. We got two of them, actually.
actually. Nymphomania, plus 20 stress heal in the brothel. Satanophobia, much type of holy stress, uh, way up. I kind of want the Noxious Blast, though. Noxious Blast is real good. There we go. Plus, uh, Emboldening Vapors. This one doesn't need... Okay, so this one doesn't even have Battlefield Medicine, so... I feel like this guy is just straight up better. And he's Slayer of Mankind and Eldritch. Minus 1% crit is not that bad. And will only pray is not that bad either. Um, yeah, I feel like this guy is, like, legitimately just straight up way better. So, I'm taking Valance over here. Bruce... What's better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? Actually, that's that was very smart. Let me <coughs> let me just do this. Be the lance. <laughs> Woo! Making jokes about famous dudes. Um, doesn't even look like them, but you know. Yeah, we're 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 just having fun here. Uh, meanwhile, let's take your one thing here. Oh, that's right. Bruce Valance. We gotta give you this, and we gotta give you this. Because that's your shit right there. <coughs> there we go. One more time. There we go. Okay, anything else? Anything else for us? Play the game. Bruce Valance. Burden. Blangy. Let's. Blue Noir. Oh, come on. Carapet. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, we have a ton of money, a ton of heirlooms. Let's uh, go to the blacksmith. Nothing. All right. Let's go to the guild. Nothing. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't upgrade anything here or in the abbey with uh, just seven busts, but uh, we upgrade something here. We cannot. What needs deeds for upgrades? Is it this one? It, it is this one. I don't want to increase my hero barracks. Here... Sorely mistaken if that's what you think I'm gonna spend my fucking deeds on, you dang fool. Let me let me see what we got here though. Quickening satchel, grave robbers only. Plus one C speed, minus two accuracy. That's not bad. <coughs> Book of Rage is fucking awesome though. Um Yeah. Uh, Bunwa, do you wanna stress de stress? I don't think so. I think you're fine. But since uh you know we don't have any people to uh go fight the next boss with the swine prince i guess we'll just uh de-stress you by going to the abbey tossing you up here to pray there you go it's just another 850 to get that shit done otherwise um is there something uh that we can do to uh to heal some of these people that have some really shitty uh sanitarium things needed done let's see witness none of, none of these are that bad basically uh, that's bad <coughs> tippler soft soft only brings it down by one that's because she's only got level one stuff once we upgrade her it's going to bring her down by a lot so i think i'm gonna just gonna toss you in here and get rid of soft once and for all there we go and uh anything else rebu rebu is a witness me we grip on life Uh, tell you what, let's figure out who we're going to take on this next mission, real quick. Me is a nice choice. Me could be a nice choice. Um, oh, we have two vessels, that's right. We, we wanted one for, uh, for the purposes of fighting some of those, uh, lower level bosses, so, uh, so this, uh, vessel only thing should actually go on, uh, <coughs> me if we're going to use her. Which I think we are. Uh, in case, in that case, me can come along, along with uh, Renault, Rabu, and Vernon. Yes, Vernon and Renault gonna you know cover the front area. Rabu and me is gonna cover the back area. Marcy is not needed because we don't need his heal. So let's see if we can uh, clear him of anything here. Claustrophobia, or sickly. Uh, you know what? Maybe I can. Clear you something? Monster type beast obsessed with sainthood, obsessed with the paranormal, death blow resist, weak grip on life. Uh, do I want you to die? Do do I put you in a position where you might die from a death blow? No, I don't. So, uh, stress resist also. 
So, one of these obsessions gotta go. The sainthood, I believe, gets, like, us fucked in certain situations. Paranormal does it, so I think I'll take off Hagiomania just to get that shit out of the way. 900 gold just to get that out of the way. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, and next up, we're gonna take everyone and do things with them on the next episode of Guard Attack's Darkest Dungeon. Hope to see you guys there. Uh, like, subscribe if you're enjoying my shit so far. I know I am. And uh, leave a comment on the video if you have any questions about the game or if you want to leave any tips for me. I uh, read all the comments because I'm a good man. I'm a good man, just like you are. So leave a comment. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Guard Attack's Darkest Dungeon. Peace out.